So another beautiful morning out here in Arizona. My buddy Sid and I, about an hour and a half out of Phoenix. And uh, this morning we're gonna be hunting pheasant and chucker. And we're gonna be working with the dogs. So we're gonna kid up. We're gonna head out and see if we can get some birds. Coming up on this episode of Catch Cook. And uh, there comes one of our, hey buddy. Great morning. Fantastic morning and uh, getting some real good organic food while we're out here. Uh, got some coal slowly starting up here. So he's a cooking machine, this guy, and just loves to cook. Loading up, Sid. Alright. What are you shooting, number six? Or fours? Uh, number fours. Big bang. Yeah. Seven and a half's on the chucker. Okay. Yeah. I think you said you've got some seven and a half? No, eight. Okay, I've got a box eight of seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, those chucker fly a little faster than the <laughs> They can scoot. Yeah. Gonna head out. Basically shooting Kent number sixes. And uh, there comes one of our... Hey, buddy. Got the dogs out today. And uh, yeah, should be a, a really successful hunt. Dogs are about to go get out, gonna point for us, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Come on, Mac, come around. I had a drop there, have to drop the phone and the camera, and that one took off in that time. <laughs> I don't know who got this one. You got it? I shot him. You got I shot him. Yeah. I missed both of them then. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. Come on, man. Hurry up. Come on. Here, to me. All right, so we just got out of the farm field here. Managed to get a couple of pheasants, Sid and I. And uh, just a beautiful morning. And we're going to create some really scrumptious meals out of these birds. Dogs worked well. It was just a really good morning. Now we're going to go back in the field and see if we uh, can scrounge up any chucka. Going to switch out ammunition. Right now I'm shooting number sixes, the Kent number sixes. Work well on pheasant, uh, number fives also, but I'm gonna switch up now to seven and a halfs. Small Loading up with uh, the right rounds and let's see what we get. Food for the pot. Great morning. Fantastic morning and uh, getting some real good organic Point. food while we're out here. Whoa. 
Here we go, he's on point. Good shooting, Sid. Thank you. Yeah, I can see the swinging to your off side. Right here. Back. Plus. Real nice rooster, Sid. Thank Good you. shooting, buddy. Thank you. The dogs had a hard morning in the field, getting watered up, and uh, we are pretty much done. We did manage to get a couple of chucker, uh, five of them in total. It was a fantastic morning. We've got some pheasants as well, which we're going to prepare some unbelievable meals with. These make excellent eating. These are fantastic little birds. Um, they're about the size of a pigeon. Um, they, they fly a little bit faster than a pheasant, but they make phenomenal eating. Remember to like, subscribe, and keep watching our great videos. So now I'm going to prep the pheasant from our recent uh, upland uh, bird hunt that occurred in southern Arizona, just south of Phoenix. I have one vacuum packed chucker and a vacuum sealed pheasant. The reason I like to vacuum pack my meat is often I don't have the time when as soon as I get back from a hunt or you want to let it sit for a while before you actually prepare it. That vacuum packing preserves the meat. It's a fantastic way to preserve anything from meat, vegetables, fish. Just a really good way to cook it and the best part of it all is you don't get freezer burn. I'm going to prepare the pheasant in a jerk marinade with my own spices that I've already prepared and um, the uh, chucker we are going to do in a garlic herb marinade. And I'm going to use the vacuum sealer again uh, prior to cooking. And the reason for that is when you take the air out, it actually helps the marinade penetrate the meat a lot faster than if you just leave it in an open dish or you know overnight in the fridge. Also, if you don't want to um, utilize the meat, you can just put it back in the freezer as long as it hasn't been frozen, defrosted, and then put you cannot put defrosted meat back into the freezer. It actually ruins the meat. So, firstly, of course, Gonna have to get these open. I'm gonna start with the pheasant, open it up a bit. So here I have my own personal spices, which is a mix of ground pepper that I ground by hand with a, with a stone. I've got coriander, salt, a few other things in there. So you want to get this really all over the meat. You want to, you know, you can firstly spread it out with your hands. I tend to put a lot into the, the actual cavity of the bird. Um, I do that with turkey, chicken, you know, in general any, any bird and actually cut the leg section away from the breast section. I'm actually going to split that chest cavity down so when I put it on the grill I can actually uh, open it up. Once again, don't be shy with the spice, rub it in really well. The pheasant is now ready for the second step which is going to be to actually uh, create a big enough vacuum bag for the bird and the marinade. You want to make the bag a little bit bigger if you are going to follow this process just so that you don't get the marinade when the air gets sucked out it starts sucking the marinade out into the machine. It's a generous bag. I'm going to seal. Second bird can come out and as you can see the trucker are a lot smaller compared to a pheasant. As I said, so the Ziploc bags ready and uh, this machine actually has a cutter. And there I've got one food saver bag. I'm going to uh, take the pheasant and uh, put it into the bag. Take the leg section, stick it into the bag. Now we're going to add the marinade. And as I said, the pheasant I'm doing in a jerk marinade, Caribbean jerk, and uh, that's kind of like a spicy, uh, uh, tangy barbecue sauce. Can't they really seal these things up these days? Oi, my oyster. What you do is you take that whole bottle of marinade and I still may add some water to it just to thin it out. And I'm going to dump this in the bag. You can see the bird is really well coated. Basically goes into a little trough. This machine does have a trough in case some of the marinade comes out. As I say, I like to use a bigger bag just to prevent that. Put the lid down, lock it, and 
we are going to start the process. And here we go. There we go. Simple. Please, bag is sealed. So now that the vacuum sealing process is finished, we have, we have a pheasant that is totally spiced, had all its, uh, my, my own personal dry rub put into the meat, and then vacuum sealed with Caribbean jerk marinade. We're gonna let this sit for approximately four to five hours before I put this on the grill, or I actually may put this in a pizza. I'll make my mind up a little bit later. So that one's done. Similar process with the, uh, the trucker, no real difference. The only difference is it's gonna be done in a garlic herb marinade and uh, we're gonna let that sit for four hours and then we'll get cooking. All right, so that's open. Garlic and herb and in we go. Great. There he is. What up, Mogi? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Time to cook some natural food? That's what I like. Yeah, I know. Decided to bring uh, the pheasant and the chuck over to a good buddy of mine's house. He's got a lot of cooking uh, devices here, so it's gonna be interesting to see how we do the pheasant. Probably gonna do it on the smoker over charcoal. We've decided to use that big black smoker. That's what we're gonna do the pheasant and the chucker on. Got some coal slowly starting up here. As I pan around, to say he's a cooking machine this guy and just loves to cook got a genuine pizza oven in the corner another electronic pit smoker green eggs we've got some buddies coming over people actually i haven't met and uh gonna be interesting to see how they react to eating naturally hunted food charcoal's really taken off nicely as you can see behind me and uh, we can give that a few more minutes just for those flames to go down. Then I'm gonna spread it out and start cooking those uh, pheasant and cracker. Pizza oven seems to be doing well, smoking along nicely. So, fire's ready, great coals, great heat. And now we're gonna get cooking. Are you fit? For a month. In fact, one of Shannon is that's my daughter, her uh, best friend. We're going to wrap it up and leave it on the grill for a little bit longer. I'm going to add a little bit of garnishment now as well. Add some more of the marinade. I'm going to wrap it up, get it really, uh, let it simmer in the sauce, let it cook for about another half hour. So there we have it completed. Off the grill, we have pheasant and trucker. Pheasant in the jerk marinade, trucker in the uh, garlic lemon pepper. Looks fantastic and uh, everyone's going to tuck in and have a phenomenal dinner tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Bring that here, bring the bowl of pasta. That's pheasant, correct. So what are your thoughts on the pheasant? Honest, honest opinion. No, it's really good. Good thing. Yeah, it's more mm. flavorful. Dude. A little more. Tough. 